Entry number one. Interesting find today. A human speculative fiction book that theorized about creating artificial beings in a human's image. Homunculi. Clearly impossible, particularly with how vague the book was about the process. It does make one wonder why humans would be interested in such a thing. Perhaps they lack purpose without lesser creatures to lord over. It's impossible to say. Entry numbers. Still need to adjust the core's output levels. I keep returning to that human's idea. Homunculi. Would such a being have a soul? It wasn't mentioned. Entry number. Souls are consistent in their shape. If a soul is like a biological cell, then there appears to be a standard internal structure between humans and monsters containing that entity's power. If a similar structure or container were created artificially, could a powerful soul be transferred from one being to another? Could a soul survive a theoretical transplant? How much of a soul could survive that process? Would the barrier consider a transplanted soul a living thing? Would it be possible to use the artificial container to change the properties of that being and the soul inside it? How exactly does the barrier determine whether something is animate or inanimate? Is it based on the soul or something else? Entry number. Another human dead. That makes five. Entry number. I need to stop thinking about this. I can't focus. Entry number one. It can be done. Kinda dark in here, huh? A little. Does it look familiar? I mean, it's dark. It kinda all looks the same, doesn't it? Yeah. I was just hoping we'd remember something. You might have to look around a bit longer for that. Well then, let's look everywhere. Starting with this room. Sans, come over here and put your hand on the thing. Don't you think this is kind of weird? What is? That all these doors are locked with this weird hand reader thing, and we can't open them alone, it needs both of us. Like, are we not enough on our own, or...? Oh! That gives me an idea, Sans. You know how we can do really cool attacks when we hold hands? Yeah, like we're charging each other up. Maybe that's what we need to do. We should charge each other up and then touch the thingy. We'll be so powerful, all the doors will open at once. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but... I'm sure it will work. Come on, Sans. Here. We. Go! Are you okay? Uh... Yes. I'm fine. And... My plan worked after all! All the doors are open! Yeah. I guess they are. Another totally intentional victory for Papyrus. Come on, Sans. Let's keep exploring! I've run every permutation of every variation on my theory, and all the simulations lead to the same conclusion. It is possible. Using the same principles from the capsules, remodeled into the proper shape and size, with the correct starting material and the proper environment to encourage growth, life can begin. The beings created will be formless and non-sapient, but their soul will be capable of channeling and amplifying magical energy due to the artificial soul structure. If I can get the human souls from Asgore to augment the flow, the potential power channeled through this being could be enough to break the barrier, to set us free. Not to mention the new life form in and of itself would be completely invaluable, an unprecedented breakthrough in the field of magical biology. The amount of information that could be learned from this new life form would be immeasurable. The possibilities thrill me. I've forgotten what this feels like. Entry number. I can't do this. You know, when the flower told me there was a secret door that would explain everything, I was sort of picturing not this many empty rooms. Yeah, right? There's nothing here. Even all the papers are blank. What's that about? We just have to keep looking, Sans. 
I'm sure it will all make sense to us eventually. Huh. What is it? Does this room give you a weird feeling? It does. It feels like something's missing, right? Yeah, something important. There must be a reason for all these rooms, right? Or a reason why they're all empty. I don't like this room. Yeah, let's go. Another empty room! Huh, it's got stairs. I wonder what this was used for. Whoever it was that ran this place sure had space to spare. Well, what you doing, bro? Huh, I could have... What is it? I don't know. I just got the feeling there was a puzzle here. Like, a nice spike trap, or a colored tile, or a trap door, or something like that. Floor looks solid to me. That feeling must mean something, right? That means we're remembering, right? Do you remember what you're looking for? In this room, I mean. No, but... It must mean something, right? I bet if we keep looking, we'll remember eventually. It will all add up. Come on, Sans. Okay. Entry number. I keep asking myself what a human would do in this situation. What would a human do to try and protect someone they loved? To find an answer. To find freedom. They don't believe in limitations. Entry number two. I do not believe in fate. There is only a lack of options. Entry number two. Drawing up a list of the requirements for this experiment, I find that I am not only the ideal candidate, but the only candidate. Only I can do this. Even if I had a willing assistant to allow me to use their soul, only a powerful soul will be able to withstand the procedure. And even then, survival is not 100% certain. I am the only one left with a strong enough soul that is an option. It must be me. Even my physical body is uniquely suited to donate material to this cause. There will be an emotional cost as well, of course. And even in that regard, I am best suited. When a hypothesis is proven incorrect, one must take the new data and construct a new hypothesis based on new evidence. This applies to all things, even the concept of the self. Events have proven that I am selfish, cold, and incapable of true emotional connection with any living being. Given previous data, it is not unreasonable to assume that I have not achieved the limits of my own capacity for cruelty. My level of violence prevents me from feeling anything for anyone, and makes me uniquely suited to what this experiment would require. Logically, I am the only one who can do this. And the best suited to do this. It may cost me my life but I never earned it in the first place. Yes! Definitely with this room, our memories will be fully unlocked, and we will become fully realized skeletons who have finished our cathartic journey of emotional growth. Nah, just boxes again. Well, we just have to keep looking, Sans. We can't give up now, we're so close. Right. Mm. Huh. Hey, bro, check it out. There's some kind of machine in this one. Oh, intriguing. Is it a computer? It looks too big to be a computer. Is it a boss computer? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, looks like it's not working. I wonder what it does. Maybe it tells skeletons what their histories are. <laughs> We're really out of luck that it's not working, huh? Huh? What? What's this? Hey, what it... It's gone. Is this us? It sort of looks like us, right? Sorta. But then, who's this person? It is a person, right? I can't really tell. And why is there only one of them? Everyone has two parents, that's what Asgore said. I don't know. Who was it? Why did that thing have it? I don't know. But do you remember drawing this? No. Well, neither do I, but I'm sure it will come back to us. With all these clues, we must be getting closer than ever, Sans. We can't give up now. I guess.